Hello, I want to show you how you can create some cool hair, like this, using Maya, and how you can import it to Unreal Engine. For this example, I will use Maya, and will create some quick groove. You can use Blender or any other 3D software. The only important step is to export the groove as Olympic Catch. Let's get started. This is our model in Maya. This is already done. I will just show you very quickly how you can create this groom and after export it to Unreal Engine where you can apply physics to it. I will show you also a quick render of this. Okay, so here we have hair, not polygons or something like that. It's hair. Okay, let's start. In order to use XGen tool in Maya, first you have to set the project. In order to set the project, you have to go to File, Set the project. I will set the project on in one folder, which I created on desktop here, and that's it. Here I will select Set and click Create Default Workspace. Now, again, I have to go to File, Project Window, and here I have to click Accept. Now we need some geometry where we can plant the hair. I want to just hide this piece here and I want to duplicate this by Control D. Now we have this piece, we we'll drag it out. On this piece, we don't need all the faces, we need only this. So what I will do, I will ju just select by face, select the first face, we'll go here, holding Shift, double click and we have this piece. Now holding shift, select everything and delete. This is our geometry where we will plant the hair. Let's rename this geometry hair geometry and let's change the workspace to Maya XGen. With the geometry selected let's go to create a new description. Here you can describe as you want uh, your hair. So here at the description is the type of the hair, a part of the hair, and at collection is like your overall collection. So here you can put it like a helmet hair, and at description, I don't know, something like top hair. And after that, here we will use uh, the control, we'll be placing and shaping guidelines. So we want to place them one by one and hit create. Let's unhide our helmet and we will start placing the guides from this button here. We'll start with the top part. We'll place a guide there and we will place another at the back. Now what I want to do you just scale up the guide so by this I think this is okay and also the second guide will scale it up so it's easier to scale it up to set up the length of the hair. And just like that, you have two guides right now. Now we'll place some other guides in between. Here. Again, we'll scale, scale this guide. Something like this. And let's preview. See, we don't have enough hair because the density is very low. I will put it 1000. Now we have a lot of hair, but it's very, very thick. So what we will do, we, ch we will change the width, something very small. Now it looks like hair. Again, let's see, we can add some more guides. How we will do that? We will We'll hide the hair and let's place some more guides here and here. As you can see now, this will 
interpolate already the length and everything else. So the guides are already at another length in between this and in between this. Okay, we have our guides. If you are uh, pleased with the length of the guides, then you are okay. If not, you can still adjust the length or whatever you need. Uh, if you want to change to change the, the angle or something, what you can do easy, select this button here and after, you can see easily you can change the rotation, the orientation of the hair of the guide. So we can do the same for the for this guide, just like that. It's very simple to manipulate this. Now let's see how the hair is looking. Okay, very nice. Again, I will increase the density. I can put 10,000. And you see, we have a lot of hair. Now we will start to use some settings in order to make the hair looks a little bit more natural. Let's start with the tapering. First, let's decrease the density. So 1000. Next, let's add some taper. So you will see how this will change the look of the hair. Let's add some taper around here. We'll start the taper around 0 0.7. And here you have also this something like a histogram. So you have even more control on the look of the hair. And now we will add some modifiers. So let's go to the modifier tab, click add new modifier, and we will add clumping. Okay, you will have this message here. That's because we don't have yet a map. So we will have to set up a map. Let's set up a map. Let's, say, let's change the density, something like 25. This is, uh, let's say, something like a resolution for your, uh, for your clumping, for your modifier. And uh, click Generate, you will see here, okay, and save. Already you will see some changes to our hair. Let's add one more modifier. I think the noise one will make a difference. And as you can see already, this looks much, much better. Let's export the hair to Unreal Engine. You will start with selecting the hair, going to generate, convert to interactive groom. Click convert. Now you have this, this um, asset here, and this is what we will export. So select this, go to generate, cache, export cache settings. Now let's see the settings here. First, select this type, Pukwawa, I don't know how to pronounce it. Write final width, okay, you will need this, and check these settings. Let's hit export, and we will export this on our desktop. Name this hair, export. In Unreal Engine, I already imported my uh, geometry, the helmet. But before importing the hair, you will have to do the following. Go to Edit, go to Project Settings, go to Engine and search for Rendering. Here at the Rendering, you will have to search for... One moment. Under Optimization, you will have to search for Support Compute Skin Cache. This must be selected, okay, as it is here. Next go to animation and here at performance thick animation on skeletal mesh you will have to deselect this setting okay let's go out again you will go to plugins edit plugins and here just search for group here you will have to enable both of these if you will enable this it will ask you to restart the Unreal Engine. You will restart the Unreal Engine and after we will import the 
groom. To import the groom, just search for your groom. We have it on desktop and I will drag it in the Arial engine. Anywhere you created a folder or something. Here, as you can see, it's very simple. I will just give it import. You will wait a bit and as you can see, it's groom in here. In order to attach this groom to your asset, to your geometry, what we will do in our case and in your case, you will select the geometry that you want to attach the groom. You will have to add component and here write groom. Okay, we have the groom in here. Next, what you will do, you will take the groom and drag it to groom asset. As you can see, already we have the groom in here. The position is not okay, but that's easy to fix. Just select the groom and uh, change the orientation. Okay, this is the start. Let's rotate it 180 on this axis and we have the groom. Now, what we want to do, we want to activate physics on this groom. For example, if now, if I select the helmet and if I move it, you can see there is no physics applied to the hair. If you want to enable this, you will do the following. Select the hair, double click on hair and enable simulation. It's that simple. Save. Go back. Now, if you will move, you can see the hair moving. You can change some other settings. The hair, as you can see here, very simple. And you have a lot of control of the groom, even inside a real engine. Uh, if you want to change the color of the hair, you will just have to create another material and apply to the hair. All right. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up if you like it and subscribe if you love it. Thanks. Bye.